What's up YouTube? This is Mike with Owls Reptiles. So it's been forever since I did any videos. Been so busy with uh, two little kids and it being summertime. I'm on full daddy duty. Uh, but yeah, anyhow, I haven't done an update on the uh, turtle habitats in a while. As you can see, they're very overgrown. All right. um, I was on vacation oh, a week or so ago. And I'm hoping that my turtles didn't lay eggs that week. But uh, surprisingly this year, I have yet to get any turtle eggs. Um, as of last year, I got my last clutch of turtle eggs the first, I think the second week of July. And today is um, July 4th, actually. Happy uh, Independence Day, everybody. Uh, see the hostas, doing really good. I, uh, my elephant ear is starting to finally come up a little bit right there. I got some other places I have it. Um, there's the pond. The pond plants are freaking going crazy right now. If you look down in here, look at all that. And even up top. My filter, sorry, my pump, keeps getting clogged, which is a little annoying to see how weak the stream is. And someone gave me an idea to put some maybe a uh, um, river of uh, flat like rocks on the stream going down. So I want to eventually try to do that. I don't know if it'll be this summer, but eventually I want to do that. Um, there is a oh I have a ton of frogs going on right now. See if I see any of them. Um, I have a little painted turtle that's been hanging out in here. Uh, oh, there's a frog. Let's see if I can zoom in. So right, let me see my finger, right above my finger, there's a little frog, see right there. But yeah, a lot of frogs in here, uh, my, my, my mosquito fish, they're reproducing like crazy, I'm always seeing baby mosquito fish. I threw a couple crayfish in here, uh, every now and then when I'm cleaning the, filth, the pump, I'll see the crayfish in this box here, that's where the um, pump is. Um, I saw a little baby water snake in here one time, so the pond is doing really good. Uh, interesting story here, I had, I think a raccoon basically put his paw in here, mess all this stuff up, and I was missing one of my baby box turtles, the yearlings. Let's see, here's a yearling, just to give you an idea, so I was missing, I was missing one of them. About week and a half later rainy day come out here and sure enough floating in the pond there he was a little guy I put him back in here and I think he's doing better I'm not sure where he is but I see one of the North American woods as well so now I have two North American yearling North American woods in here and six yearling um, eastern box turtles in here the two-year-old eastern box turtles are now in the big habitat. Uh, sorry, I'm not in focus. And then I have uh, two males and three females in the big habitat, adult eastern box turtles. This here is, um, what is this? Elderberry. This thing goes crazy. And then I have some blackberries. Box turtles love the blackberries. I got two of them here. That's a peach tree. I got a couple small peaches growing on it this year, but I don't think, I'm not gonna get like a bunch. More blackberry here, this stuff here, we call it wineberry. Hasn't blossomed yet, but uh, I've seen the turtles eating that. We get a lot of it grown naturally in the woods back there. Then the other habitat. So this is the, as of right now, it's the desert um, Gulf Coast box turtle habitat. And I'm about to start working on the pond. Pond's gonna go right in here. Um, I put in some raspberry, some more blackberry, some more wineberry grown naturally, a blueberry. Uh, this is just a grass plant. And oh, there's my female Gulf Coast. Finally a turtle, right? How's that focus in? There she is, she's really cool. I like her, her uh, shell pattern a lot. She loves to eat. She's out all the time. The male, he's huge. 
he rarely, he always hides. He'll come out during like a rainstorm. Uh, but that's the only time I ever see him come out. Here's my biggest elephant here. I put a bunch of this stuff in and it's all starting to come up, but this one's huge. Here's another little one there. Here's uh, you can see some peaches. Nope, it's not focusing. But there was a third, but the squirrels and birds have been going crazy on my fruits and everything in this habitat this year. I don't know where all the boxers are. Normally they come out on these warm evenings. Well, the Easterns are, I should say. Oh. Well, we'll look more in a second. But uh, yeah, I know this male, he's always hiding here. So I really want to get a Gulf Coast box turtle male that has the white face. Yeah, look at that big guy. He's, I don't know if the camera shows how big he is. Let me let it focus, focus. But he's huge. He's way bigger than my biggest Eastern adult Eastern box turtle. And he's bigger than the female also. He's cool, but he always hides in here. He'll come out, like I said, when it rains sometimes or early mornings, but that's like the only time he ever comes out. But yeah, I'm gonna put a small pond in right here. Right in there. That thing will be gone probably once I put the pond in. But look at this stuff, I mean these plants. I put in just one or two in this little thing. And it's filled the whole thing up. You can tell a turtle's been in there because they're all messed up and turned over. It's probably that female. This is for some babies that are coming. These are self-grown already in here. I think these are tomato plants, but um, this is for some babies that are coming in August from Chris Leone. Getting a whole bunch of cool stuff. Some Chinese box turtles, some more desert coat, desert, sorry, more Gulf Coast box turtles. Um, uh, some more wood turtles, so spotted turtles, a bunch of cool stuff from Chris are coming in August. And I'm gonna use that one for them. So I did just see a female. So let me see where she go. Yeah, here she is. So this is one of the female. She's actually the biggest of my female box turtles. She laid, I think, two clutches last year, if I remember correctly. But like I said, unless I missed it while I was on vacation, nobody's laying this year. Driving me crazy. I had gotten 27 box turtle eggs last year from my three females. And this year I have Zero box to the legs. Let's see if I can't find any others. This is uh, an orchid. Comes back pretty good every year and I have a hydrangea right over here. Comes back good every year. Let's see if I can't find any more turtles. Been really hot here last few days. So there's been a lot of turtles in the pond, but I don't see anybody in there right now. Let's see. Oh, here's one. This is the oldest of the girls. This one was a rescue. Everything else I got from Chris Leone, but this guy I rescued from a highway. See her shell has some discoloration. She has the big chip above her face. I have a feeling she's just a really old girl. She always hides out right there. Uh, let's see. Last year, most of the eggs were laid right up in here. But like I said, I haven't seen any eggs laid this year. All right. This, oh, there's one. This is another female. Oh, no. This is an, actually, this might be a female. This is one of the two-year-olds. This is the big two-year-old. Look how big that is. That's a two-year-old box turtle. She's, he or she's huge. But yeah, that's just that one there's had about a month of freedom in this big enclosure. The other two year old's a little bit smaller and only just recently started getting freedom in the big enclosure. Um, my cats. Let's see. Can I find any other turtles? Let's see. There's another little elephant here growing in. There was some turtles earlier over here. Sorry. 
And, oh, yeah, there's something. There he is. Oh, this is my smaller male. But he actually is more active when it comes to breeding. He's really orange. I scared him though, so let me put him back under. Oh, here's my bigger male. He is like a bright orange. Let me get to focus. Come on, focus here. So yeah, he's like a brighter orangey yellow. Well, he's like a darker orangey yellow. You can tell, see, he's been in the pond. All the, I think it's duckweed. I'm not sure what that's called. Those little green ones all over him. Let me throw him back over here. Let's see. If anybody's underneath here. And nobody. Okay. So yeah, actually, I think I've... I'm only missing one female and uh, one of, and the other, the smaller of the two-year-olds uh, has free roam in here. Oh, there's a frog or something. But yeah, it's coming along pretty nice. Like I said, this time of the year. Oh, here it is. Look at him. <laughs> so here she is. She is the smaller of the two-year-olds that, whoa, that I just recently gave full, sorry, full uh, roam of the big habitat. Look at that, that's lucky. Finding her. But yeah, there you go. So all but one of the adult females I found. See if I can't show you these cool babies. And that's how I'll end it. But yeah, so if you have sub-adult, adult, desert ghost box turtles, or sub-adult, adult Chinese box turtles for sale, definitely hit me up. I want to add some more larger ones that I can put right into the big enclosures. Um, I think from Chris Leone later, but I want to get some more larger ones. Let me see if I can't find this one baby. There's one cool box turtle from one of the one-year-olds. Oh, there's the bigger of the wood turtles hey let me see if it'll focus real fast so yeah there's the wood turtle so all right let me see if I can't find here's another baby box that's not the one okay let me look let me look all right guys I'm sorry I'm sorry yeah, the video's almost getting too long, but I'll give it one look over here. See if I can't find it. He's really cool. If I can find him. Alright, give me a sec. Ah, oh, is that him? That might be him. Let's see. Yeah, there's at least one of them. Okay. So. Check out turtle look how light I don't know if the camera's picking it up ah, the camera's not picking it up the way I want it to let me do this for a comparison shot all right I hope that's not a termite sure it looks like a termite though whoa, whoa, whoa. so Look at how light this one is where my middle finger is pointing compared to this one. Yeah, I have two that are really light, light like this one. Unfortunately, the other one like this one. Um, sorry, let's let it focus, focus. I don't know why it won't focus. Hmm, sorry. Well, fortunately, the light one like this is the one that got taken by the raccoon. I'm assuming again raccoon, and I found in the pond. I hope he'll still survive, but it looked like he had a little, like, wound-looking thing in his shell. So I guess we'll see. But he's back in there at least. That's actually why I have this rock on the corner. This is the corner that the animal dug in and pulled the thing from. But anyhow... Just wanted to do a little update video on the turtle enclosures 
as I hopefully can find time, I'll show you guys a lot more stuff with the snakes. Um, I've had a really slow and rough start to the snake season, but I'm hoping that'll get better. And like I said, I uh, hope I get some eggs soon from the turtles. All right, Oz and Reptiles out.